welcome back to my channel. So I recently put up a picture on Instagram of myself wearing a hair bow uh, style look and I was getting a ton of requests to show a tutorial how to do it. I wasn't planning on doing a tutorial because there are plenty out there but I decided to do a tutorial and show you guys different ways that you can wear this little adorable bow in your hair that's made out of your hair. So. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it and a lot of you guys really loved it because my hair color so I'm just gonna say I use Pravana hair dye and I have a blue on the underside portion on my left side the rest of my hair is purple and I also have added some pink right on this little um, I guess these are my bangs but they've just grown out so I, I've added a little bit of pink and and I was doing a get ready with me that's why my face is all made up so if you guys want to see how I got this look um, I'll put the video up shortly so let's go ahead and get started um, I as you guys know I dye my hair I don't wash my hair every day so I really suggest this hairstyle to be done on not freshly washed hair because you want the bow to be very uh, voluminous and big and um, if your hair is really clean it's just gonna flatten and it's not going to be as poofy. So uh, I'm going to put some dry shampoo in my hair. This is my third day going without washing my hair so um, I get really greasy hair so I need to add some dry shampoo. This is Dove Hair Therapy so I'm just going to spray it in uh, some of my hair on the top portion. Also I do want some shine in my hair. We want our bow to be nice and shiny. So I'm going to be using uh, this Moroccan oil treatment and I'm just going to get one little pump right there and I'm going to rub it through my hands like this and I'm going to put it in between my fingers and I'm just going to run my hands through my hair just the bottom portion we don't need extra oil in the top portion because that's what we just used the dry shampoo for was to get rid of all of the oiliness but we really want this bow to be nice and shiny so I'm adding some Moroccan oil and this is going to tame my hair a little bit um, it does get kind of frizzy uh, after I don't go washing it so it tames the hair a little bit and it adds some shine and it also smells really really great so your hair looks really healthy and uh, beautiful and shiny so I'm gonna just rub my hands through all my hair and get all the oil off of my hands okay so once you have all the oil rubbed throughout your hair you're going to need a rubber band um, try to get it the color of your hair um, it's just hard for me to find what color because I have multiple colors in my hair so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a high ponytail. So I'm just going to gather my hair and I really don't like my ponytails to be super tight so I will loosen it up um, but I'm just grabbing it right now and you're gonna need a brush. So grab your brush and you're just going to brush the bottom. If you want it to be a really really high bow like right on top of your head I would suggest getting the ponytail uh, in position upside down so you can just do it upside down and you'll get a higher ponytail but I'm just going to do it like this just to show you guys all right so here's my ponytail and I am going to wrap the um, rubber band around like normal so we're gonna do one two and on the third one you want it to be you want to grab it so the hair is like this in front of your face so you're going to pull your hair through and you're not going to pull it through all the way red <laughs> is in the background what are you doing red oh sorry <laughs> all right so you're going to pull you're going to pull it through just like this and you can uh, put your finger through the little hole in the in the gap and just kind of tighten it like that now you're going to grab this little portion right here this is going to act as the center portion of the bow. But before you do, you're going to kind of make sure the bow or the, uh, the hair up here is centered. You're going to find the middle and you're going to split it very gently. You're going to split it like that. Now your, your middle portion has little space to go through. So I'm actually, I want my pink hair to be in the middle. You can brush your hair here a little bit if you feel like you need to but I really don't feel like I need to and you're going to pull it over like this now in the back you're gonna bobby pin it so um, for me it usually takes two bobby pins so you're going to 
Bobby pin it down in the back so that the hair doesn't just stick up weirdly. Okay, so we pinned it down. And now you have this cute little bow that you can just adjust. You can make it as big as you want. You can add hairspray in it to give it a little more volume. But you can see how really cute it looks. Um, some people like to bobby pin down these two little edges right here. You can do that, but um, I really don't feel like... I mean, I guess I could probably do that. Uh, what I do also like to do is I like to add hairspray to my little flyaways. So... This is uh, Elnette Satin. I, I talked about it in my previous video. So just spray it down and you just want to flatten some of your hairs right here. And you can, actually I think I will pin it down for you guys uh, just to show you how it's done. So if you want to pin down the bottom portion, just go from the front and just pin it through. And it should stay down. So you're going to add another bobby pin on the other side for it to stay down right through the front and you can puff this up as much as you like and add some more hairspray so that it keeps its puffiness and there you go. So now you have your very cute hair bow. I love this hairstyle. I just recently started wearing it. I, I tried it for the first time a couple days ago. And it's so easy. It is so easy to do. Uh, it, it took me probably about three times to get it right, but you can wear it in different styles. You can wear it in the center. You can also wear it off to the side. Let me just do it really quick to show you guys how it'll look in these different styles. So for the off to the side bow, you are definitely going to have to pin down this one side to your head so that it stays on your head. I think this actually looks a lot more adorable than just in the center. I really like it off to the side. Um, I'm also going to show you guys one that's going to be down below here. So let me just go ahead and take it down and redo it again. So again, for the off to the side bow, you're definitely going to have to pin this down to the side of your head. Uh, so that is how it looks. I don't know, I'm not too much of a fan off to the side look, but some people can rock it. It looks, it kind of looks cute. I like it. I can dig it. Um, and the last one that I wanted to show you was just a really cute version where it's going to be two pigtails. So we're going to have two bows. So let me go ahead and do that for you guys. So now you have two very cute little bows. I went ahead and pinned them down both on the top and on the sides. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know. I've never seen this before. I kind of just wanted to try it out. It is so cute. I wish I had like, I wish I didn't put like all of my hair up or you can even add extensions. It would look really cute if you add some extensions from these and have the hair coming down from the front. That would look really cute. It would be kind of like a little spin on Sailor Moon. I think that would look adorable. But um, I'm going to go ahead and move my hair back to the favorite, my favorite position and we'll end the video out on that one. My favorite has got to be the off to the side bow. It is adorable. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. There's plenty other ways that you can wear this. I'm sure you can even like braid the center portion so you have a braided center portion of the bow. You can always do just half of your hair and leave the other half down. There's so many variations. You guys try it out. I would love to see pictures. If you do try it out, tweet me a picture or leave a picture on the Facebook fan page. I would love to see what you guys do. I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you guys for suggesting this. I would have never thought to do something like this. Um, but it was really fun doing it and again if you guys want to see this whole makeup look uh, There will be a video shortly. I'm actually doing a get ready with me So I'm gonna go get ready and put my clothes on now, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all later